Okay, you guys, if you want the bull, you're going to get the horns. Bulls are very stubborn and very strong. And that being said, the sun has entered into Taurus, which is the symbol of the bull in the zodiac sign. And so today is day one of seven of all about Taurus energy as we walk through shifting out of Aries, very fiery, and into Taurus. If you are new to me, I want to introduce myself. My name is Aubrey, and I am a certified light-filled astrologer, and this is Celestial Healing with Aubrey. I help high-achieving women create radical self-trust while embracing their divine feminine using my celestial lunar method, and I work with them to help them come to know who they are and who they are not by diving into astrology and their natal chart. Every single month as the sun changes signs, I talk about the transition from the previous sign into the new sign. So we are transitioning out of Aries and into Taurus. Taurus happens to be the second zodiac sign within the zodiac chart, and it happens to be transitioning this year, which is 2024 at 8 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time. The sun will step out of Taurus, I mean, out of Aries and into Taurus. This would be around 10 a.m. East Coast and 7 a.m. West Coast. Not only do I talk about the sun transitioning signs, my celestial lunar method happens to be about the lunar cycle, and I offer a free lunar session and a new moon, a full moon lunar session every single month. If you're ever interested in what's happening with the transiting moon, with those full moons and new moons, you are welcome to join my success with the moon free path for my celestial lunar method. The link to join my celestial lunar method is in the comments below or up above where I place links here in YouTube. And with today being day one of seven, all about Taurus energy, I'm going to give a broad overview. And then over the next seven days, we will dive deep into each of these aspects of Taurus energy, including those light and shadow aspects that you can find within yourself. Whether or not you have a sun, moon, rising, or any planets in Taurus energy, you do have Taurus within your chart. I want to talk about how you can find that energy. And so first off, I want you to look Look at your natal chart, find Taurus within your natal chart. Let me go ahead and share with you what that Taurus will look like for those newcomers who don't fully understand what Taurus looks like within the natal chart. And so I'm going to share my screen here. As you notice, there is a bowl, <laughs> multiple bowls. If you keep looking, you're going to see bowls throughout the whole thing. And so Taurus's energy is this bowl. It's ruled by the bowl. If you get, if you want the bowl, you're going to get the horns. And here is the sign you will be looking for within your natal chart. If you are looking to find where Taurus sits. And within that sign, I want you to find the house that starts in Taurus's energy. And that house has its own location within your life. Each house within your natal chart takes care of a certain aspect or part of your life that you are walking through throughout your lifetime. Um, whether it's the home life, your communication, siblings, traveling, journeying, career, money, finance, uh, relationships, how you show up in the world, each of those has their own house connected to it. So I want you to find the house that starts within Taurus, and that is where we will find your Taurus energy. Taurus is ruled by Venus, the energy or the planet of love, money, finance, elegancy, and is an earth element, which is very grounded. And we will go over all of these topics over the next seven days. So I hope to see you tomorrow when you come back for day two of seven day series all about Taurus. <laughs>